It, uh, we've been talking all morning long about how the 90s are making a huge comeback, especially at the LA Fashion Week. We saw it on the runway. We're trying to translate the street style, and we're using some of what we've seen uh, as inspiration. Now it's time for the big reveal. Lori, what do we have first? So we have Annalise, and I'm actually going to show a menswear look here, but you can tell the brocade oh. in the material, and it was kind of an opalescent color. We, we gave you a snap of it. So Annalise. Okay, let's bring our first model Annalise. out. I love the coloring, so is that part of it too as well? Yes, it's very muted, so we have the lavender tone, which has been very popular. We muted it into her hair, we matched it to her makeup, gave her a kick, a little punch for springtime. There we go, there's the our reveal. Denim. There was one designer that had the ripped up denim, so, you know, we went girly, kind of Alice in Wonderland, and then gave it the punk street edge with some ripped up denim. Yeah, let's see, let's go the full head to toe, I'm loving it. Okay, our second model. All right, a lot of men's wear with the women's lines also, and so that's what Sharon's showing today. She's got a, like a husband's shirt on tied up, right? But what we're seeing here in the hair, red is really going to make a comeback. And these are fashion tones also. So we rooted her with a permanent color, and then we balayaged her. And in through here, if she turns, you can see some coppers and some movement and the fashion yellow. So all of this will gradually shampoo out, and it'll leave her with this really, really nice, rich, golden blonde. And was this one the inspiration for that? As well, or no? Yes, is that our next one? Kind of the tone of the hair. We saw some golden tones, and you can see that's a fishtail braid, and it's just kind of racked out, ratted at the ends, and so that's why her hair is not as kept as we normally see. A lot of texture, embracing the movement, and again, this cut is a disconnected layer cut, so it helps to give that movement in there. Okay, let's bring our other model out. I'm loving this hairstyle and okay. the color to yes. pop. Like it's awesome. So what I really dig, I, I kind of gave her some ideas of what to wear. She chose the varsity jacket on her own, and that was great. Because on the men's line that we saw down there, uh, they were rocking the tribute to a Letterman's jacket. This is a very gender fluid and androgynous look. This cut can work well for a man or a woman. We imparted the fashion tones, and instead of going with a super punk black base, we put in this like matte kind of eggplanty color in there, and Ooh, then did a fusion of some teal and pink and purple in there. And a big help from all of your entourage. Who do we have here? Actually, yeah, I would like to thank Allie as my assistant, all the way to the left there. The rest of the girls are all students. At Sutter Beauty College, so I want to thank them. They let me invade their school yesterday to do the color. And a shout out to them if you're interested in cosmetology school, if you qualify for Pell Grants right now, you can attend Sutter Beauty College with zero out of pocket. Wow. Amy is the director, so you'd want to call and talk to her. But all of these lovely girls are going to grow up Here. and be hairdressers someday, and I'm happy to have them participate. Give me a little twirl. Give me a little twirl. Oh, yeah, How about 90 times? Because the 90s. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. <laughs> Uh, again, we, we told you all about uh, Lori. She's the owner of Lulu's Lex. If you want to check her out in Woodland. T back over to you. Sounds good.